Hello, David here at merchantaccounts.ca. I wanted to tackle the topic of settlement currencies for multi-currency transactions. This is something that confuses everyone. Every merchant that touches multi-currency transactions, at least at the start, are like, how do I set this up? What you need to know at a high level is when you process a transaction, you can process it in your domestic currency. So if you're a Canadian merchant, obviously you can process transactions in Canadian dollars. If you're targeting mer or customers in the United States, yes, you can build them in US dollars. So at merchantaccounts.ca, as an example, we would give you a US currency merchant account. And anytime you ran a transaction through your US currency merchant account, the customer's card is billed in US dollars. But this raises the question, how do we pay you? Because you're a Canadian merchant, but you build someone in US dollars. What happens next? Well, there's control. In fact, the obvious thing is we could either pay you in US dollars or Canadian dollars, and actually we can do either, but only one option's good, or ideal at least. So you want to be paid in the same currency that you processed the transaction in. The reason why is anytime currencies convert, there's costs involved. Just like in, in real life, if you walk into your bank and you have $1,000 Canadian, you wanna convert it into US dollars, you don't get the mid-market rate. You, the, the bank has to facilitate the transaction and there's you pay an exchange fee for that. Credit card transactions are more complicated because someone will use their credit card today. The file will be uh, batched out and settled over the card network the next day. And then as a merchant, you'll be paid at some point later, maybe later that day, maybe the next day. But the whole point is, it's not like walking up to a counter and going, boom, here's a thousand dollars, change it over for me. There's a time issue here, and there can be currency volatility. In general, the FX rate that you pay, the, the, the currency conversion rate, when you let currencies be converted, is it's about equivalent to an over-the-counter bank rate. It's certainly not as competitive as a currency brokerage rate that you could get if you used like a, a specialized currency broker. So the general rule is this. If you have the ability to process and receive funds in a foreign currency, take advantage of it. It will save you money. There are times when you can't do it. There are lots of times you can't do that. One of the examples is if you wanted to process transactions in pound sterling or euro, South African rand, those settlement currencies are not generally available in North America. They're not supported. So if you had customers in South Africa and you wanna process transactions in rand, we can do that, we can set you up to process those transactions, but because the settlement currency is not available to us, we can't settle you in RAND. So we have to convert it back to your base currency, which is called base currency settlement, and then you do incur those FX costs. And it sounds like a downside, and in some ways it is a downside, but on the <laughs> there's so many considerations. But even if we could pay you in South African RAND, where do you get a South African RAND business bank account in Canada? That's hard to deal with. Another consideration is sometimes clients will say, okay, well, you know, we wanna, we wanna process and settle in pound sterling. Can we set up, can you help us to do that? Yes, totally. If you get a US, uh, sorry, if you get a UK business or even a European business, we can process and settle in pound sterling through our European processing partners. Great, it's all thumbs up. Except to do that, you need a business presence over there. Well, what does that mean? It means you have a business footprint over there. You need that in order to get approval. In order to work with a European acquiring bank, we must make sure you have a European business presence of some sort. All of this is straightforward, but what happens at the end of the year? You now will pro, and I'm, this is not tax advice, but I can guarantee if you have a corporation running in a foreign territory and processing transactions there, there's some sort of tax issues to deal with, which are not the end of the world. In fact, it's a regular course of business. But if it's if you're a small business and you do some sterling, I don't know, I'll just make up an amount, 50,000 sterling per month, 100,000 sterling per month. Do you want to deal with Companies House, uh, you know, the UK version of what would be the IRS in the US or the CRA in Canada? Do you want to deal with all that uh, for, for, to save, say, I don't know, make up, a, say it saved you 1% on the FX fee. Is it worth going to that extent? Totally. If you're processing 100 million a month, for 
obviously, 10 million a month, for sure. Even a million a month, yeah. But at some point, if you're processing $1,000 a month in sterling, would you want to go through the hassle of maintaining that foreign entity to save a little bit of FX money? No. So it is situationally based. And at merchantaccounts.ca, this really is our wheelhouse. We do a lot of consulting in terms of settlement currencies, processing currencies, and helping you to set it up in the most optimal way possible. And I'm not going to get into interchange itself, the cost from Visa and MasterCard change between regions, and we can help you to optimize those when you're running your business and targeting customers in multiple territories, which is beyond the scope of at least this video. So long to short, when you process transactions, you have to decide not just how you're gonna charge your customers, but how you will receive the money. In general, it's best to receive it in the same currency that you processed it in, but there are absolutely situations where sometimes you have to receive it settled back to a base currency and incur some FX fees. But as I discussed, there are, there are reasons for that. Contact us at merchantaccounts.ca if you wanna talk about your project. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.